Hello learners, welcome to this lecture on the nature of political science. In the previous discussion, we talked about the meaning of political science. In this particular section, we shall talk about the nature of political science. When you try to examine the nature of political science, we find that from the very beginning, there has been a debate among the scholars regarding the status of political science in terms of whether political science is a science or an art. French political philosopher Jean Bodin was the first person to have used the term political science. Later, other thinkers like David Hume, Sir Frederick Pollock, and Sir John Seeley also preferred to use the term political science. However, there is a certain amount of disagreement among the scholars regarding the status of the discipline in terms of whether political science is a science or an art. Now, Aristotle called politics the master science through which civilization could be saved. American political thinkers like David Easton also tried to establish a scientific basis of political science. But thinkers like Ernest Barker, James Price, Charles A. Beard, and others were reluctant to accept political science as a science. Now, let us try to examine the notion that political science is not a science. The following are some arguments against the notion of political science as a science. Firstly, it is pointed out that there is lack of precise and standard definitions of terms and concepts in the realm of political science. Again, it is pointed out that complexity of political phenomena due to variations in the nature and habits of people makes it difficult for us to treat political science as a science. Again, it is said that diversity of environments in which political developments take place also makes it difficult for us to call political science a science. What it means is that the same political development in a particular environment or a setting may lead to different outcomes or results in a different setting or an environment. So, Again, it is pointed out that problems of experimentation to arrive at valid conclusions also stand in the way of calling political science a science. Now, let us try to examine the alternative argument that political science is a science. Alternatively, efforts have been made to systematize the study of political science and to claim the status of a science. Here are some of the arguments in favor of the claim. Recently, Political theory has developed based on facts and verifiable data, example, voting behavior and theories of election. So in recent times, we find that political theory has developed on the basis of collection of reliable facts and verifiable data. For example, in the case of voting behavior studies and theories of election. Then again, political experiments are not completely ruled out in the realm of political science. For instance, the government itself is a continuous experiment. Now, in real life, we find that there have been experiments to try and find an ideal government which would provide stability. So these are nothing but political experiments. Then again, it is pointed out that it is possible to make predictions on the basis of social experimentations to a certain extent in the realm of political science. Again, broad conclusions can be drawn in political science, such as an independent and impartial judiciary and a free press are essential for democracy. So these are universal truths. Again, it is pointed out that empirical studies in the field of political science are based on careful observation and classification. Political science puts a hypothesis or an assumption to empirical verification. So theories are not built on speculation, but they are subject to empirical verification. Political scientists today employ survey methods, graphs, charts, and other scientific tools to arrive at their research conclusions. So all this lens a scientific character to political science. Again, political science in this context 
we could conclude is that's a science but it is not a science like the physical sciences it is a social science now let us try to examine the argument that political science is both a science and an art american political scientist robert dahl states that political science is both a science and an art art refers to practical application of knowledge political science applies the knowledge about political events for creating a good social and political order hence it is an art political science is a skillful art which tries to apply the knowledge about political events for creating a good social and political order again whenever students of political science test and verify the theories against the data gathered through systematic observations political analysis can be regarded as scientific so whenever political science tries to gather data through scientific study and systematic observations political analysis becomes scientific in character when this political analysis is applied for the working of political institutions it becomes an art or rather a systematic art based on application of knowledge about political events so political science becomes a harmonious combination of both a science and an art in the next section we shall talk about the scope of political science